another massacre of Americans who happened to be our policemen in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This is what we've been saying is happening. 1968, we've been saying this over and over. The violence is there. People are just so unhappy. We don't coalesce around an idea like we did in 68, when it was first all civil rights that led to 68, it was civil rights, and then the Vietnam War, and, as, and then it all culminated in the elections of 1968. Then things just really spun out of whack for a while. But we, that's, where, that's that part we are at right now. Back then, you lost the president, President Kennedy. We lost Dr. King. We lost Robert F. Kennedy, who probably would have, had, would have had a great shot to be president of the United States. And it was just all killing each other and, and fighting. And, and it was just horrible. And we're, we're coming back to that again because there has been no leadership in this country. And we've been clear. The president's a good person. You can see it from his from his, his speeches and from what he said again today. But the problem is he's no different than all the rest of them. That's all the representatives in government. That's Congress. It's the bureaucrats. It's all the people who administer those laws. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And that's why people are so unhappy because all we have focused on is our differences. We have been yelling, yelling, yelling from the rooftops for years that we have to start calling ourselves Americans. Quit with this hyphenated American jive. We have to be Americans. When you try to come to an agreement, you have to find things you have common ground on. You don't do like what Carl Bernstein just said earlier. Well, we can't even agree on our problems because when you fight over what your problems are, there's going to be no agreement initially. You have to come together and say, this is our common ground. And then you build from the common ground. And the common ground is that we are Americans. We are Americans not hyphenated Americans. We can't let media and the politicians split us apart. And the problem we're going to start having now, because it's just going to keep getting worse. History doesn't repeat. It rhymes. You've heard that. It's not a cliche. It's real. And it is rhyming like crazy right now. We don't need any poets. History is the poet itself here. We're in a situation where there is absolutely no leadership. So that leadership is going to be, oh my gosh, law and order. 1968, Nixon's the one, Spiro Agnew, the nadering nabobs of negativism. That's where we're going. People are going to want law and order. We all know where that went, don't we? Watergate, Kent State, Jackson State, we all know where that went. Horrible. And we're also going to have to worry about what civil rights we are going to have trampled upon by the government because they're going to say in the interests of national security, we now have to protect everybody and people are going to want to be protected. 75% of the people in a poll say this country is going in the wrong direction. It is. They say, oh man, everybody says, isn't it great? People like the president, 51%. It's because he's a good guy. I like the president. He's just a good guy. He has a good heart. His family's great, but he's a horrible leader. And his two terms have taken us down. And we now need a leader. And gosh, how can you not be worried about who the two people are out there right now and what this is going to lead us to? So we have to start coming together. It sounds simple. It isn't just simple. It's basic. We're Americans. Start calling yourself an American. And when you see Americans, you walk together, you smile at each other. You try to do this kind of stuff. You wave to somebody when they let you in, yielding into, into a, a lane in the uh in, in the road, instead of hunking at them and trying to force them off the road, we try to be nice to one another. We're Americans. It's going to work out. It's going to get a lot worse, but it's going to get what's going to work out because it always does. And that right leader, that correct leader will emerge. The question is, is it the two people who are running for president or who are the presumptive candidates right now for the Republican Democratic Party? Wow. But it always works out. Peace.